Hi, welcome back to Raunchy Reality Recaps. Now, in this video, we're actually going to go over more Jessica Kent. It's basically another episode of her hypocrisy. Now, I used to be on Jessica Kent's side. I still think that, you know, her and her ex's relationship wasn't good. It was toxic. And the video that she did come out with him yelling at her, I mean... It's verbally abusive. There's no way around that. My issue was these creators basically saying that, you know, it, it wasn't real. If she could record it and everything. And just making a, bla a blanket generalized statement for everybody. Which isn't true. So, anywho. Let's get into the issues I have with her. Now, as you all know. She... Over the past few months, she apparently, and all this is alleged, my opinion, whatever, blah, 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 don't come after me. Um, apparently, allegedly, she married Jason, her now ex. And she was, from what notes are coming out on Reddit, that her and Jason were still together up until, like, late September, early November. And then, all of a sudden... Over the past few months, she's been bringing in this new guy, Burner420. Um, Jason calls him Buster a lot. Um, but, yeah, she's been bringing in this guy. And, apparently, he went over to do an interview. And, from what I'm hearing when he did the interview, basically just decided to stay there and live with her kids and everything. So, that being said, that she let this guy within a few months of meeting him not even a few months like if that's the truth if she did let him come and stay after he just did an interview and she didn't really know him besides being online then it was less than a few months let's be honest anywho a day two days a week a few months it's still not a good idea to sit there and bring like around your kids especially when just within the last year you broke up with her father so hmm Anywho, let's get into it. I, I think I said that twice already. So, I was on Reddit and this great person found an old video of Jess and where she's talking about how her boundaries and her um, standards she had for, a ma for Reese, her ex, meeting her daughter at the time, who wasn't his, um, but... He ended up being a father figure to that, that little girl. But after Jess got out of prison and everything, these were her standards on Reese meeting her daughter. So let's listen. Six months after I met Reese, after I had been dating Reese, and he did meet Micah, but very briefly. I was not sure I wanted to bring a guy around my daughter that I didn't know was going to stay. What if I date this guy and he leaves? You know, then I have to explain to her, and she's heartbroken, so I was really careful. So that's why we dated for a year before he moved in. And the six months that I had with my daughter just by myself was the best time, because it gave us just that that time together to bond and that was something that was seriously lacking because she was almost two when i got custody of her we lost that bond initially but we definitely have grown that bond since um bringing her home so that time that i had with her just me and her was just a great time in our lives and then when we added reese to our family he took on that role of stepdad so well i mean you cannot tell that man that mike is not his so I okay so we heard it we heard it out of our mouth and have you mind most people when they have children and they make bad decisions like letting a man they don't really know around their kids most of the time they're gonna do that when they're younger not when they're older you get what i'm saying like she when she had her daughter she was a lot younger and everything you would think she would instead of doing a complete reverse because yeah she was good right there like she had good thinking. She was putting her daughter first. She wanted to spend time with her daughter because she hasn't been able to. And she was actually doing good parenting. This right here was a good parenting move. Now, again, I mean, we're all different and everything, but waiting at least six months and then only casually meeting him and then later on, you know, building up and everything, not dude hey come and do an interview oh yeah you're awesome come, come and stay in my house you know or like even after a few months moving in like oh and I don't know I'm saying like a lot I'm sorry but 
you would think she wouldn't have done a whole reverse. Like if you had that lets you know she's capable of understanding what is good and what's not. She is capable of knowing that introducing a child to your new boyfriend or girlfriend within a few months isn't a good thing. Like she had it here. This was good. She made good decisions at this point in her life. Why is she doing a complete 180 and now it's okay? While you're sitting there complaining about the... And what irritates me is she's saying she doesn't want the kids around her ex, their father. Now, I get it if he was physically harming you and everything, you might, you know not want that but was he doing it to the kids was he that way towards the kids for you to sit there and worry so much about a man who I'm just going to go ahead and say because she never said I, I haven't heard her say anywhere that he was that physically that way towards the kids so if he wasn't a b you know wedding the kids and you're concerned about him being around the kids, but you're not concerned about a new guy you barely know around the kids when you wanted your ex to do all this when he first met your daughter, but yet you're willing to do just let man, a band you barely know after a couple months or not even that move in with your daughters. Like this is where, we're, this is where people are having a problem with you. This is hypocrisy at its finest. You are not holding those kids away from your ex because of their safety. If that was a case, you wouldn't have had another man you barely know off the internet with violent charges like that move in with your kids. If you were worried about their safety. I could understand it if you weren't having men and everything around your kids, if you weren't moving everything and, you know, there was a lot of physical abuse and everything. I get that. I understand you want that safety debt there. But, girl, you ain't making good decision on your kid's safety in your own life. So, I don't see where you think that you have a decision to make that on their dad's life. You know? Like, you ain't worried about your safety when it comes to introducing them to other men, but you're worried about it with their own father? I don't get that. And not a lot of people do either. And that's why a lot of people are questioning her. <sighs> so, yes. Oh, and let's bring up a couple other things I saw since I got you on here. Um, Yeah, her going talking in one of her videos, and you could probably pull it up. Uh, it's definitely on Reddit, y'all. But her talking in one of her videos about how she was with her new guy at a mall, and some woman said to her kid, look what he did to his face. Because, girl, come on, you're, you're dating a doodle bear. People are going to want to know what the heck, <laughs> like, it's natural, girl. It's natural. It comes with the territory. But instead of sitting there and being an adult about it and just go about your way, or you could even be nice about it and say something to her. Like, yeah, I mean, he loves, he loves colors. He loves palettes. But, <coughs> excuse me. But in doing, a, being an adult about it, <laughs> being in your 30s having three kids you decided to call the woman a see you next tuesday in front of her child child and you're worried about what other people are doing around your kids like you're worried about your ex with your kids but yet you're sitting there <laughs> you aren't girl you are far from the standard perfect person okay and i know you're probably gonna be like well i'm not a perfect person well you know what when you fail to admit any of your faults and redirect everybody else away from it you th you're coming off as a perfect person like you think you're a perfect person so anywho yeah she decided to call a woman in front of her kid that Great. Great, Jess. What if somebody would have called you that in front of your kid? I would have bet you would have got online and boo-hoo, talk crap and everything. I can guarantee you that. Anywho, yeah, so we got that. And then apparently she had a court date with her ex. And instead of being an adult, Jess, oh, he had police come up and give me stuff and he knows that triggers me. Girl, if you ain't doing anything wrong, the police can't, shouldn't trigger you. 
I mean, I've talked... There are people that's been in jail way longer than you, sweetie. Way more criminal stuff than you. And they still wouldn't get freaked out about a couple cops coming up to them. Especially if they ain't doing anything. Okay? And then that was her reason for telling this woman that she needed to eat. Girl, you skinny too. A lot of people could tell you to eat. Okay? I ain't gonna tell nobody to eat because I know people, I, I think skinny girls eat like a um, mother effort and dude, they don't get no weight. Like, we see the girl that ate the hot dogs for the competitions. Like, the girl's skinny. Okay? All these girls, and a lot of people that do these hot, these competitions, eating competitions, are skinny people. So, anywho, let's get off that. But, again, maturity. And you lack it severely. And then you want to sit there and question somebody else's parenting, your ex's parenting. And again, you're like, oh, well, he has a charge and everything. Girl, you would a reason he got charged almost. Like, I'm not going to say the full reason, but sitting there having somebody go up to somebody's house in the middle of the night, knock on the door and everything. Like you planned that. Okay. You wanted that to happen. And a lot of these emails and everything that were coming out that if you want me to go over those as well. I will, but a lot of this stuff coming out is, is to very telling, very telling that you aren't somebody just to leave somebody alone and go out with your way and play fair fairly. You are somebody that sits there and instigates. Okay. So I can no longer feel sorry for somebody that instigates stuff. Okay, because if you were really afraid of your ex and everything, if you were all this and everything, if you were so scared of him, why would you have somebody go into the middle of the night in his house? Okay? You were wanting to start trouble. You and Jason. And I don't like Jason that much either. But boy, is he singing like a canary. Oh, one more thing. Y'all, I keep on thinking of other stuff to say. But an email come out. Again, allegedly, I don't know if these emails are real. But, I mean... You hear Jason's voice on these videos that Mindy's coming out with. So, I'm going to guess they're real. But again, allegedly, in my opinion, I don't know. Don't come after me. But apparently, that whole thing with Mindy, where, again, Jess, if you wouldn't have made that first video with Mindy, girl, you wouldn't be in such a mess right now. Anywho, yeah, you remember that video, Mindy, of... Her putting up screenshots and Jess allegedly saying that she was right and trigger warning. It's going to get a little disgusting. She was riding um, Jason and we all know <laughs> adults what that is. Um, and she was smoking something. Okay. Yeah. You know how like she, I don't know if she denied it or she just never said anything about it. But apparently one of the emails is proven. Okay. Because Mindy was on, on Jason about it and everything. Wanting him to confirm that. And boy, he confirmed it like three or four times that she was doing that. So, yes. Getting allegedly, I'm just pulling this stuff I find off the internet. This could all be made up. I don't know. But in my opinion, I'm inclined to believe what's coming out since we have um, a history of this. So, anywho, I'm so blessed to have Reese. He has been open. Probably. Ooh, sorry. Anywho, y'all have a great day. Like, share, and subscribe. If y'all want more Jessica Kent info, um, stuff, let me know. I'm planning to do a whole video of this, you know, just to gloss over everything nicely. But definitely let me know if you want that. Y'all have a great day. Like, share, and subscribe. Bye.